So today is the launch of the Maxus electric vehicles in South Africa. It is the first electric vehicle dealership in the country. It's very important for the country because we are seeing corporates, especially uh, looking to decarbonize their fleets. Uh, and we are also seeing individual clients being aware of carbon emissions and also the cost savings that come with electric vehicle uh, and electric mobility. And so dealerships such as these actually just bring the product out to the people, both corporates and individuals who are interested in going electric. So we've been very lucky that we've run these vehicles in fleets, especially for the last two years at the worst of load shedding, and we've been able to run them. So com for, for a commercial fleet, yes, they've been easy to adopt because they do a number, a, a determined number of kilometers and, and they can you know, it's a hub and spoke and they charge and they go out to do deliveries and they come back. But in that time, we've been setting out charging infrastructure that supports them. And that is the same charging infrastructure that the consumer can now use with that shared asset type of, of, of um, outlook. So if a, a client or a consumer is worried about things like load shedding, the solution there is that there is charging infrastructure in the country. Yes, it's not nearly enough for what we need if there was mass adoption of, of, of um, electric mobility, but there is some charging. The other thing, if it is a consumer client, they are able to charge at home. Um, and, and we have seen that globally a lot of consumers, uh, home people, there's a lot of home charging when it comes to, to the individual consumer. So there's that option. But what we've been able to do um, also as a business is we also have built intelligence around having being live in our vehicles and in our chargers so that we can schedule around load shedding so there's a driver facing app that tells you where the next charger is when load shedding will be so that you don't have to manually kind of decide where you charge and when you charge the models that we're bringing to to the country if i start with the bucky which is what we are launching actually today alongside the opening of the dealership uh, you're able to do about 350 to 400 kilometers on a charge it's a four by two it's a double cab bucky um, and you know it charges within an hour on an on a dc fast charger you can get uh, uh, you know a full a full charge um, and we are seeing that there's a lot of interest for for this bucky for the farming community the solar installers the kind of people that are uh, concerned about carbon emissions but also the cost saving on a total cost of, of ownership point of view so the panel van that we brought to market first is a, it's called the E-Deliver 3, a Maxus E-Deliver 3. It can do uh, close to 300 kilometers on, on a charge. It's got five tons of volumetrics, uh, five cubes of volumetric uh, space at the back. And uh, that vehicle we've been running for the last two years in, in some of the other fleets, have been running in South Africa in some of the fleets. And, and it's been really doing very well. We have also brought an E-Deliver 3 chassis cab where customers can put a box that suits their needs, uh, you know, drop side type deliveries or refrigerated units. You can customize for anything, for any of those uh, functionalities. That one is exactly the same as the e Deliver 3 in terms of battery size. So you're able to do about 300 Ks on a charge. And again, you're able to charge on, on any charger in the country. Um, and then we've got a four ton truck as well, but yeah, that we are testing coming soon.